Hi everybody, welcome back to the Early Literacy Blog for the Mooresville Public Library. I'm Jamie. Geronimo! Hi Jamie! Hi Sammy, how are you? I'm good. Oh, I'm Sammy. Hi boys and girls. <laughs> that was a pretty exciting entrance. Yeah, and it was the word Geronimo. Do you know what that starts with? Um, well yes, because I'm the one who did the class today. It starts with a G. Yeah! Yeah, so today we did the letter G. So we're going to go ahead and talk about the flashcard we did today. I actually found this really cute giraffe online. I did not draw this. I traced it. I'm not an artist. It is really good. Is it cute? Jamie. It's yeah. good. Oh, it's good. And it's great. And it's great. Oh, Sammy. She loves her G words. Mm -hmm. So what we did was we took a crayon and we colored the G. And then I went ahead and had them put the eyeball on. And then they also traced their G. I haven't traced mine yet, so you probably can't see that. But the last thing I had them do was take a Q-tip and dip it in some orange paint and then give the giraffe the dots that giraffes have. Hey, Jamie. Hey, what? You said give. I didn't. Another G word. You're much better than some of my little ones. We've had a hard time thinking of G words well, today. G is a little challenging. It you know? is, yeah. yeah. So they were really good with grass and grasshopper. Gross. And gross. Yeah, one of them did say gross. That's, I thought it was pretty great. That's great. <laughs> so the books we chose, what do you think, Sammy? Can you guess any of them? Mm. Nope, me neither. I had to do a quick little search and I came across a really good Shel Silverstein book called A Giraffe and a Half. Ooh, I love Shel Silverstein. He, he does lots of poems. He does, and this one's great for rhyming words. I tried this out with one of my two and three year old classes and they just did not like it. No. And so I actually had to go through and find another one because I do my classes in two different days. So then I found Carlo Likes Colors. And this was great because Carlo's a giraffe, but it also gives all kinds of different colors for the kids to guess. And then it puts pictures of things with those colors. So for yellow, there was a sunflower. For blue, there was a pool. And they were able to give me not only the colors, but the items of the things that were colors. Oh, Jamie, I just thought of something. Yes. What about the color green? Yes, of course. Green was something else they talked about today. That's great. Yeah. So then I had to think of something else to do for my four to six year olds. And I came up with, well, it's almost Halloween. Yeah. So why not ghosts? <gasps> That's great. It was, and we love doing ghosts. So I found a great book. It's called Z is Not Scared. But but I thought we were talking about G, not Z. We are in Z. He's a zebra. Yeah. But he turns himself into a ghost and he scares his parents. <gasps> That sounds like fun. It was fun. And the other thing I found for the craft to go with this was glue ghosts. That's a double wing. It is a double. If we were playing categories, you'd be making lots of points. Yeah. So I had the kids, I drew these um, on wax paper. They put all kinds of glue in them because what kid doesn't love pouring glue all over the place? We put some eyeballs on and some triangles for a bow tie. Now they had to leave them here over, and they're going to probably stay here for a week at least because it has to dry. But when they come back the next week, we'll have all kinds of spooky glue ghosts. Now, Jamie, do they get to peel them off? Yeah, or? so mine's not dry completely yet, so I have haven't peeled it, but what you'll eventually do is peel him off and then the glue will come off and you'll have your own little ghost that you can decorate with. That's awesome. Yeah, so that's what we did today at the Mooresville Public Library. Sammy, what letter should we do next week? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. H, that's right. So next week we'll do the letter H. I hope you tune in. Oh, hey Jamie. Hey what? I think that would make me happy. Oh, <laughs> Sammy, you're so funny. See you later. Bye. Bye.